This is a popular question a lot of developers ask. Should you learn JavaScript in 2025? That's a stupid question. Of course you should. In fact, I'll do you guys one better. Here's every reason not to learn JavaScript in 2025. Thanks for watching the video, guys. On a serious note, let me actually give you the pros and cons and let you make your own judgment. For the cons, starting off, the ecosystem in JavaScript can be overwhelming. There's constantly new metas, new frameworks, new tools and libraries coming out. For example, this year there's going to be some framework that comes out. Next year there's going to be another entirely different framework that's 3% faster than the last one. It only requires you to rewrite your entire code base. JavaScript has a messy history. It wasn't intended to be a mainstream language, so it has a few quirks that a lot of developers say causes issues, for example, a lot of this stuff just makes no sense. The performance in JavaScript is also pretty bad. In terms of raw performance, Rust, C, and other languages would generally beat JavaScript because obviously it's very important to run your portfolio website at 240 hertz at 4K native resolution. In terms of competition, there's new alternatives to just using JavaScript. For example, if you have WebAssembly with Rust, Python, Django, etc, etc. So JavaScript is not the only choice you have in picking what language you want. I know that sounds pretty bad, but obviously we haven't touched any of the pros. First of all, JavaScript is the foundation of modern web development. It's the only native browser language as of right now. NPM, which is a JavaScript library, is the biggest package registry on earth. It has a huge ecosystem, and if you ever run into a problem with JavaScript, there's a high chance that any problem you have has already been solved via a library or a framework. The majority of frameworks are JavaScript frameworks. React, Vue, Swell, Astro, you can name it, is probably a JavaScript framework. In fact, just pick any one and there's a high chance it's JavaScript. JavaScript is the gateway to learning TypeScript. In fact, TypeScript is built on top of JavaScript. So if you want to actually get hired, you probably need to learn TypeScript, which requires JavaScript. JavaScript has full stack ease, as in you can use it in front end, back end, and databases. It's, it's very versatile and can be used in all avenues, so you could just stay in one language. The jobs and demand for JavaScript are huge. If you learn JavaScript, there's a really high chance you can get hired in the majority of companies that have listings for jobs. So this is always going to be a safe option. And finally, the learning value of JavaScript is very easy to transfer to other languages. The core idea of JavaScript is very functional. If you learn JavaScript, it's pretty easy to swap to, let's just say, Python down the road because they have very similar syntax. In my personal recommendation, if you're going into any web-related career, learn JavaScript. Front-end or full stack, learn JavaScript. And if you're going into back-end system, machine learning or AI, it's more optional. You can probably learn Python and it'd probably be better for you, but it's still technically like a secondary or backup option. I offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship if you guys are interested in that, or if you just want to join a free Discord, I have a community in the description as well. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.